Howdy folks and welcome back to Pool School. In today's episode, I'm going to do a video that was requested that I do by several of my subscribers. And that is, how do you do startup chemicals on a salt-based pool rather than a chlorine-based pool? Well, there's really not much of a difference. So what do you say we get right to it? Alrighty, before we get started, I want to thank you once again for watching this video. Remind you to like this video if you do by clicking that thumbs up icon below this video. Remember to subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already and please share my channel with everyone you know who owns a pool. Also, don't forget to check out my website, poolschooler.com. It'll come across the screen right here, poolschooler.com. It's full of lots more money-saving, members-only content that will help you save even more money servicing your pool yourself. Okay, so as I said, I've had several requests from some of my subscribers asking me, how do you do the startup chemicals in a salt pool rather than a chlorine pool? Well, there's really not much difference uh, to doing it. Actually, if you haven't seen my video on startup chemicals and how to add them, I'm gonna put a link in the description below this video to that video so you can watch it. And the only real difference is the salinity. Instead of using chlorine, you will use salt. However, the big difference is that when I do a startup uh, on chemicals on a pool that is a salt pool, I will use chlorine to get the chlorine levels up a little bit to help the salt generator uh, while it catches up, especially if it's the summertime when you really need to not let those chlorine levels get too low. Just remember this, you test the chlorine levels um, in your pool the same as if you had a salt system or a chlorine system. The only difference again is you need to add your salt to that. So there are two websites that have a salt calculator to let you know how many pounds of salt you need to add to your pool based on the gallons of that pool and based on how much salinity is already there okay so you're going to want to go to that wet those two websites to use that as a reference um, i'm going to put uh, links to those two websites on those two calculators in the description below this video as well the other thing you're going to need is you're going to need a salinity tester this is a brand new one that i started using it's made by oroxpe and um, i used to have a different one that I did a video on, on how to test the salinity of your pool. But that one that I used um, really was actually somewhat of a confusing model to use and is also very expensive. This thing I think runs about 30, 40 bucks. And I'll put a link to where you can purchase one of these. It's a really simple unit to use. Turn it on and there's only two settings. There's basically a setting for um, Fahrenheit and Celsius as far as the temperature. And then um, I'm going to do a video on how to use this and how to test the salinity of your pool. But right now, remember this one's about startup chemicals with a salt pool. First things first, um, you are gonna need a couple chemicals to, to take care of the startup chemicals of your pool. First thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need some cyanuric acid. Cyanuric acid is stabilizer or conditioner. It's what helps your pool maintain the chlorine levels. And you're gonna to wanna to add those chemicals. So again, um, you're gonna need cyanuric acid. You're gonna need salt, obviously, and that's gonna be based on the salinity currently in your pool water and um, how big, how many gallons your pool is and what you wanna get them up to. Most salt generators, uh, recommend salinity levels between 2800 and 3700 maybe 3400 I always say use 3200 uh, parts per million as your 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 gauge and so when you go to those salt calculators you can go in and enter the gallonage of your pool and then what your current salinity level is and what you want to bring it up to and it'll tell you how many pounds of salt to add to your pool when you add the salt to your pool basically you just dump it around the perimeter of your pool make sure your water is circulating and the pump is circulating so it allows the generator to get going and then you should be in business after several hours after the salt dissolves. Um, one thing I would say is don't overdose it, right? Don't overdose it. And same thing with cyanuric acid. And again, I'm not going to go into great detail about the startup chemicals for a regular pool or for a salt pool, because really that video I did on startup chemicals is pretty much exactly the same, except you're adding salt instead of chlorine. Now, as far as adding chlorine to your pool in a salt generator system, if you have a typical 10 to 15,000 gallon play pool, I would probably say you're gonna to wanna to add about three to four gallons of liquid chlorine right off the top to get those chlorine levels up. And then as you're adding the salt, that'll allow that, uh, the chlorine levels to stay up while your salt generator starts generating. Also, um, the other thing is I typically say, uh, and again, people, people are different on this, but the typical mindset is get your alkalinity levels ideal 
before you start worrying about other stuff. But I pretty much, when I do a startup on a pool, and most guys that I know do it, we kind of do all the chemicals at once, and then we come back after you know a day or so, or maybe after five or six hours, and check everything out and then add accordingly. But please watch my video on startup chemicals and how to add them, because that's basically how it works. But the only difference is, like I said, is the salt. Okay, so use those salt calculators, and that's pretty much it as far as the difference. So folks, there you have it. That's my very short video on how to do startup chemicals on a salt pool. Again, the big difference is adding salt instead of chlorine, but I typically tell people to add some chlorine beforehand just to get the chlorine levels up. Then as you add the salt, then it buys you a little time to get those salt levels up to where the salt generator starts generating your sanitizer, which is basically going to register on your test strips as chlorine. So that's pretty much it. I hope it made sense. Uh, please do again watch that video on startup chemicals and how to add them, because it pretty much is the same, except like I said, for the salt, and you can use those salt calculators that I put in the description below this video to help you understand, uh, identify how much salt you need for your pool based on its gallons, what your current level is on your salinity, and what you need to get it to. Remember, you're going to need a good salt tester. I would suggest getting one of these. I'll put a link to where you can order one of these online uh, it's a very easy uh, product to use and it's good to have if you have a salt pool it's very accurate and very easy to read anyway hope that made sense if you have any questions or comments you can put them in the comment section below this video or you can email me directly again my email address is going to come across the bottom of the screen as always it's kenny poolschool at gmail.com once again kenny poolschool at gmail.com thank you again for watching remember to like subscribe and share don't forget to check out my membership website poolschooler.com and until we meet again remember have fun be safe and always watch those kids and elderly folk and pets around water and i'll see you next time